Hi kids! Today I get to share with you on what a child wants. To be honest, I have rewritten this Devo over and over about four times. I wanted to keep my time on point, but I had so much I wanted to share. So I prayed, got a clean slate, and asked God to guide me. What a child wants? Well, I have the privilege and honor to work with children here at NCC. Part of my job while they are in my class and my care is to meet their wants and needs. While in the nursery, it is a bit of trial by error since babies cannot say what they want. We come into this world crying. We can't speak, so we cry. We cry out for our wants. I want to be held, we cry. I want food, we cry. I want sleep, we cry. I want and need a clean diaper, we cry. I want you to be so silly and goofy so that I am not crying, but laughing. As kids get older, they are a bit more vocal, running into a room, hands in the air, shouting, woohoo! Why? Because they want fun. Ask them and they will tell you. I want to do your hair and have you look silly. I want cereal for dinner. I want a snack. I want to play with that. I want to read a book. I said earlier that in the nursery, we have to address wants and needs because sometimes what we want isn't what we need. As children get older and more vocal and mobile, they do not want to have the needs they want. They want the wants. Isn't that true of all of us? For we all in a way are children because as believers, we are all children of God. God, I want this job. God, I want money. God, I want to do this or that. God, I want this hurt to go away. God kindly kisses our boo-boos and whispers in our ears, yes, my child, I know what you want, but sometimes it's not what you need. Working with children and having them as well as it's a daily honor and battle. Children are pretty transparent when they are younger. As they get older, I have learned that I need to ask and also observe. Our youngest, when asked, will say things like, I want to be a pop star. I want to design like her big sister. I want to do ballet. But when I step back and look at her or listen, not when asked, what do you want? I see she wants me to play with her. She wants me off my phone or computer and snuggling up with a book. She wants me to play Barbies. In the first morning question to her dad, do you have to work today? I see she wants time. That is what kids want. Time with us. Time and fun and unconditional love. Just like when a baby is born. In that moment, they are your whole life. They get all of you. You stop everything. Everything is on hold and they are getting all of the attention. When asking our 13 year old what she wants, she would say horseback riding lessons to design, some fabric and privacy. But I can see when I'm really looking and paying attention that she wants to be noticed and appreciated and to make us proud. She will lean her head on my shoulder or give me a random hug. And in that, I know she wants attention in that she's also meeting a want and need, I have to. Our 16 year old answered with a very strong money, unlimited amounts of money to be able to do anything I want or get anything I need. Kind of an interesting answer. And I know she's not really a child, but more in the in-between phase, not a child, but not an adult. But again, we are all children of God. With her, if I pay attention, I see that she wants to be trusted. She wants freedom. In a world where it is so dark, I have a hard time with this. It is not her I don't trust, but the world. But the more I let her go, the more proud of her I am. I think that is how God looks at us as his children. So proud when we realize what we need is what we want. We need love. We need time. We need the Bible. We need to treat others as we would like to be treated. We need Him. 
then we get what we want. We can run around this world with our hands flailing, saying woohoo, because our wants are met by our needs. God loves us unconditionally. He looks down on us every day as we would gaze at a newborn baby and is proud as we grow up. A child wants what you want, the deep down want of feeling loved and heard and appreciated, the fun want of just cutting loose and having fun and enjoying this gift of life and the obvious wants of needs being met. Please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this gift of life. Thank you for all of the people out there and all of the children. Thank you for their lesson that they give us every day, that they just want love, just like, Lord, you want us to love you and to love each other. In your son's name, amen.